A dire warning tonight from the head of BC's civilian police watchdog. He says the agency is understaffed and under-resourced, leading to major delays for investigations involving police. And without a drastic change, he says the office can't meet its mandate. Here's CTV's Ben Milger. <laughs> When police in B.C. kill or seriously injure someone, it is up to the Independent Investigations Office to look at the facts and decide if the use of force was justified. But according to IIO Director Ron McDonald, delivering timely results has become a challenge. I am concerned about the well-being of my, my investigators. They are hard workers, they're excellent at what they do, but they're stretched way too thin right now. IIO currently has 19 investigators and openings for 17 more. McDonald says he's not allowed to pay enough to attract qualified candidates. The result is lengthy delays in investigations, including in the case involving Dale Culver, a 35-year-old Indigenous man who died after being tackled and pepper sprayed by Prince George RCMP. Five RCMP officers were charged, but not until nearly six years later. I hope no other family has to wait this long for justice for their family member. Right now, the IIO has 90 open cases, including 38 involving a death, and some of them date back to 2016. The head of the National Union representing Mounties says his members would like to see investigations completed in a timely manner rather than have the possibility of charges hanging over their heads for years. None of this is good for a transparency perspective for the community, none of it's good for our membership, and none of it's good for British Columbians. So, um, you know, the IIO needs to figure it out. McDonald says he has asked the province for more help. In a statement, BC's Attorney General says, I take the concerns raised by the IIO seriously and have already met with them to find solutions to how we can improve efficiencies and ensure that they can continue to do their important work. Change must happen or I'm vitally concerned about the ability of the IIO to continue to do our job and to do it well. It's something British Columbians rely on to hold police accountable. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.